Hey everyone, we got the last three bosses for Dark Visions number 18. We're gonna start this off with the physical domain of wind against Kokurayu. Uh, first things first, I need to make one particular change here and that is uh, changing some piece of equipment. So give me a second and I will explain why I'm doing this in a moment. So what we need is a Judgment Staff. There we go. That's on Sephiroth right now, but he doesn't need it anymore. Let's dual, give it dual cast as well. And yeah, that is it. Okay, so let me show you the gear. Um, Shadow, as you've seen, dual cast, Judgment Staff. Um, he has Bastonga, which is nice, so we can dual cast this. Other than that, Brave Shift form. Yeah, it's fine. I, I was expecting this fight to go to turn three or four. It doesn't, so it's good. Just two weapons, no vision card. Mastermind Xon, passive provoke evasion. He is full provoke and full evasion with this build. Nothing else matters. Bulwark, no abilities or anything in base. Brave Shift, just some resistances and his own STMR, nothing else. Sephiroth, base form, doesn't matter. Brave Shift, Massa Moon, um, I wasn't able to game for 300, 300, so he's at 250 Dragon, 325 LB, which is more than enough anyway. And his own vision card. Sky, base form, doesn't matter. I thought, like I said, I needed more resistances on everyone. I don't, so ignore the base form. The only thing, the only important thing is to have the Trustmaster passive um, because it fills the LB at the start of the turn or start of the fight. Okay, Brave Shift using Emotional Lens, which is Masurka's uh, STMR. It's 1.25 average variance, which is... Eh, could have, I could use another, um, what's it called, Katiana instead, which has 1.3 average variance, would be a little bit more damage, but it's fine. The higher Spear and Peril should make up for this. Anyway, this is the gear, the abilities. She easily caps Dragon using um, Tifa's Vision card. So yeah, 300 Dragon, 300 LB, looking good. And lastly, Auron. You do not need Auron. We are going to overkill this boss super, super, super hard. So Auron is just personal flavor. If you don't have Auron, just use, I don't know, Aerith for the 400% stats and um, 250 LB buff. So that's his vision card here, the abilities. This is the equipment. And he's at 300 Dragon, 300 LB. And he's going to use his non-super limit burst LB, which is another issue here, but it's fine. All right, let's get into it. Super easy, turn two kill. All right, so, but first things first, uh, we're going to do a Shadow Serenade, which is 120 in peril. Uh, you don't, we don't actually need this, honestly, because what's also going to happen is Fallen Angel and Purging Blade. Could, have, could be done too. So Purging Blade, Purging Blade, Fallen Angel works too. Let's do it. Dealing just a tiny bit of damage, which is fine. We'll have um, Bulwark do Tempest Tempo. And I don't know. Uh, he doesn't have any LB. Oh yeah, he does. So Electric Ensemble. So he can LB next turn. For a little bit more stat buffs, etc. etc. Uh, Auron is going to Guardian's Duty. So the boss is already imperiled to Dark and Wind, which is nice. So Guardian's Duty. Sky is going to Brave Shift. She's going to Sharp Spear Focus for the 87 defense break um, and a Spear Reduction, which is nice. Severe Squall for the 150%. Dragon Killer and 300% stats. And overcast skies for her own personal 50% wind amp. And it also imperils the boss by 132 wind, which is even better. 
Mastermind Xan is going to Reflector, Critical on Sky, Elemental on Sky, we don't care, and share the love with everyone. Let's wait for Sky to finish. There we go. Shadow can just burst Stone Goddess turn. We don't need it, honestly, at all. It's just, just that he has something to do. So the boss does Earth Fang, which is an Earth Imperil for one turn and a damage over time effect. If you're going for more than one turn, you would have to dispel this off of Xorn. But since this fight is now over, let's uh, Brave Shift uh, Sephiroth to LB, Sky in Brave Shift LBs, and Base or Standard LB for um, uh, Auron, and we'll do a non max LB for. Um, for Bulwark, I should level up the LB for 350% stats, but it's fine. 341% stats, it's good enough. And we'll do AR, double SR with Xorn and Shadow. So let's do AR, double SR, there we go. Uh, it's very simple, we're gonna start off with the AR chainers and then send in everyone else immediately. So let's go. There goes Sky, 2.5, 5 point something. I saw 9.99 .9 billion there, so yeah. We easily capped this, 26 billion, we only need 10, so we almost dealt triple the damage we had to. I think this goes to show you don't need Auron for this at all. No need whatsoever. So let's check it out. Um, Sky and Sephiroth, very comparable in damage. Auron a little bit above them, which is to be expected. But keep in mind, neither Sky nor Sephiroth have maxed out their stacks. Now, Auron did neither, but Sephiroth is, like I said, or, mention, or should mention, he is a double element. Sky is single element, non stacked So yeah, that is, that is pretty good. And if you weren't able to stack Sky, she would deal the most damage because she is not locked to the 9.99 billion cap. So yeah, all in all, Sky plus Seth, easy peasy. And if you're going for a turn two clear where you can, I'll be twice with Sephiroth, it's even easier. Anyway, or turn three, I mean. So yeah, pretty easy. And there we go, perfect score for Dark Hokuraiu. All right, that is it for Dark Cryo. I will do a, a diff, uh, another video for Siren next. So see you later for that one. I hope this was helpful. Bye bye.